Hey everybody, welcome back to Reissued. My name is Andrew. It is cold outside, so I thought I would make a coat out of a sleeping bag that I found at my local Goodwill store. I'm certainly not the first person to do this. I definitely did a little research and found some amazing videos on other sleeping bag coats, but I definitely wanted to put my own spin on this, so check it out. If you like my coat, if you like this video, if you're interested in more cool DIY content, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. Uh, definitely goes a long way to helping my channel grow. Um, so let's jump on in. I had been doing lots of sketches in the weeks leading up to this project, so I had a pretty good idea of how things would work in theory. I watched two other videos for reference, one by With Wendy that actually gave me the idea for the sleeping bag coat and had a good method for hiding the seams and the other by Vera, which had the genius idea to leave the zipper in place and make that the front center zipper. In my design, I wanted to see how much volume and drama and sleeping bagness I could keep, and I wanted my jacket to have a hood for super cold weather. I was pretty terrified to cut the sleeping bag wrong, so I put it off and made a mock-up out of this cheap black woven fabric instead. I didn't do the best job making it symmetrical or accurate, but I learned a few things about the shape of the hood and the amount of fabric I would need for the sleeves. So I have spent basically the whole week procrastinating um, because I am terrified to actually cut the sleeping bag apart. I think we've reached the point today where I just have to do it, it has to happen. Um, thankfully all that procrastination I think was a good thing because I've modified my plans a little bit and really been able to test things out and see what I think is gonna work. Um, but yeah, once I cut it, there's kind of nothing I can do. There's no going back. So fingers crossed. And now we cut. This part was so scary. Since I used basically the entire sleeping bag, one wrong cut and I was done. I made sure to pin all the layers together before I cut every time to make sure I kept everything even. First, I cut the top in half until I reached where the shoulder seam would go. Then I cut straight across at this point all the way to the edge one way and only halfway in toward the zipper. Then I cut down a little bit further down the center line to create the armholes. I cut these bigger later, but I didn't want to cut too far. Then I prepared to cut about nine inches off the bottom. But first I carefully ripped out the seam to detach the zipper between where I would cut and the bottom corner of the sleeping bag. and then I cut the zipper right at the corner. Finally, I cut the pieces that I had cut off the top and bottom in half to create what would become my upper and lower sleeves. The worst is over, or is it? To join my seams, I opted to use Wendy's method of sewing right through all the layers and then using ribbon as bias tape to seal in the raw edges. I started at the hood, pinning and then sewing a little curve to round it off. After sewing, I cut off the excess fabric along the curve and then cut the bulky batting out of the seam allowance. 
This is basically the only part of the coat that didn't get used. Because of the placement of my seams, I needed to seal in each seam with ribbon as I went rather than holding off to the end. This part was the worst. Before attaching the ribbon, I turned it under a little bit and sewed along the edge to hide the raw edge. Then I pinned it around the seam allowance and hoped for the best. I opted for a thinner grow grain than Wendy to keep things sleek inside, but it was so tough to get around all the layers, especially around the curves. I continued bouncing back and forth between sewing seams and sealing in raw edges. First the shoulder seam, then the upper sleeves, then the lower sleeves. At this point, I also finished off the hem of the coat with the same ribbon. I gathered the bottom of the lower sleeves by cutting down these elastic loops that I had removed from the bottom of the sleeping bag and sewing them right sides together around the finished edge of the sleeve. I stretched the elastic as I went to achieve an even gather. The only thing missing now was a way to attach the lower sleeve to the armhole since I wanted it to sit inside the upper sleeve. I had this black neoprene fabric on hand that ended up being perfect. I tried the jacket on to see how long the sleeve insert would need to be. So the sleeve insert needs to be double the width of that piece so that it's wide enough to fit in the armhole and double the width of this piece so that it can attach there and make a circle. We need that like six or so inches in between with some seam allowance. And so then I'm gonna cut it to taper from the bigger width to the smaller width to connect those two. I cut out the sleeve insert, sewed it right sides together to the lower sleeve, and sealed off the raw edges. For this part and a couple of the sleeve seams, I tried stuffing the batting inside and only sewing through the two outer layers of fabric. This was much easier and allowed me to skip the extra step of cutting away the batting and the seam allowance. However, it does allow the batting to move around a little bit more in the coat and potentially get a little lumpy. So I'm not sure this was the best move, but it definitely made things easier. The last big hurdle was attaching the sleeves. I first sewed the upper and lower sleeves together, partly to make the sleeve insertion process easier and partly to adjust the length of the insert to make the right amount of overlap. I cut straight down along the armhole to open it up to the size of my sleeve. It might have been easier to round it out a little bit, but I was committed to the straight lines and minimal waist at this point, so I opted to keep it straight. Pinning and sewing the sleeve in was super tricky, especially around the bottom where the fabric had to be opened out. 
I definitely had to rip out and make some adjustments here. And although the end result wasn't perfect, it was done. I used this wider python print ribbon that I had on hand to seal the edges of the armhole, both because the extra width was helpful, but also because I was almost out of grow grain. I had to hand sew parts of this because it would not cooperate. Again, not perfect, but done. The final touch was to wrap some of the grow grain I had left around the bottom of the zipper ends to seal them off and to keep the zipper pull from sliding off the egg. And it's done. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about how it turned out. I'll see y'all soon.